The Royal Navy's website has been taken offline after an attack by a computer hacker. The MOD says the site was compromised over the weekend. James Hurst reports. Visitors to the Royal Navy's website today have only been able to get this message. What it doesn't explain is the reason for the site's suspension. That can be found on the Twitter feed of a hacker who on Friday claimed to have broken into the website. Search the internet a little further and the hacker has posted some details not only of how they compromised the site, but also what they found. It appears to include lists of usernames and passwords that they look to be encrypted. The hacker says he or she got in using a vulnerability known as SQL injection, which effectively lets them hide commands that will control the website database and things like searches of the site. The Ministry of Defence points out that the website that's been attacked is a public relations site. The public are supposed to see its contents and they say no classified information has been accessed by the hacker. It does also seem unlikely that anyone seriously looking for sensitive information would then go and brag about it on the internet. If you like, it's the 21st century equivalent of scrawling graffiti over a poster of Lord Kitchener. Um, but there is a much more serious level of attack um, that um, the government needs to pay uh, more attention to perhaps than this sort of embarrassment. This hack has come just weeks after the government placed cyber attack in the top tier of threats facing the UK. While it will have produced some red faces, it will also probably be cited as evidence that the threat is very real. James Hurst, Forces News.